Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So last week I asked you the question in one of our most recent polls on the channel. Do you think Microsoft Edge is becoming unnecessarily bloated with features? And out of the 523 votes already cast, um, most of you do think so. 79% of you think that the browser is becoming uh, too bloated and 21% of you say no, it isn't. Now, um, the results of the poll, once again, don't surprise me. And as I have uh, posted previously, um, personally, I do feel that Edge is becoming um, slightly bloated with new features. And I have even called one or two videos Edge OS, because I do feel um, on a personal level that Edge is almost becoming its own operating system with a lot of uh, new features rolling out by default to the browser. Now, although you are able to um, turn off a lot of the features to your own personal choice and preference, um, by default, though, as mentioned, um, Edge um, is almost becoming its own operating system because Microsoft is rolling out a lot of unnecessary features to the browser by default. Now, in regards to uh, this poll and the browser becoming um, too bloated with, unne uh, with unnecessary features, I may have good news. And in Edge Canary, which is a preview version of the browser, as many of you would know, uh, Microsoft is now testing a new feature which will now let you disable what we would consider to be non-essential features in the browser. And when you disable non-essential features, obviously it will bring back a lot of the system resources taken up by those features, which means then that the browser will then run a lot faster and will also become a lot less cluttered because as mentioned, um, the browser, especially in Edge Canary, has a lot going on as you can see and as mentioned, is becoming unnecessarily bloated. Now, at this stage, um, this new feature is on a controlled rollout, which is quite common when Microsoft does um, roll out brand new features to the browser. And at this stage, although I have been waiting a good couple of days so I can make this video, I haven't received the feature yet in my region, which is quite common. But nonetheless, um, we can head over to a screenshot uh, provided by Leo over on Twitter, which will give us a general idea as more or less what to expect when this feature and if this feature does become available in the stable version. Now here you can see it's in the settings called optional features which is located between languages and family and the description reads choose your own features with Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge now lets you turn off optional browser features so as to make it the fastest browsing experience for you. Features that are turned off are still available to you but will require a small download to enable. So how I'm interpreting this is that basically you're almost uninstalling a feature. And um, the first feature, as we can see, um, that Microsoft is testing in regards to add or removing optional features is Cite This, which I think for a lot of users of the browser um, is not really a day-to-day -day feature, feature that a lot of um, users would use from day-to-day. -day. And basically Cite This um, is aimed at helping students cite information. So more aimed at students. So I think your everyday user wouldn't remove this. So Microsoft is testing removing cite this as that first feature. And uh, um, regarding the bloated adware, as some would call it in the browser, I think this would be a nice move as mentioned in the right direction. And uh, um, if we head back to um, Edge Canary, although I haven't received the feature, just to put this all into context and perspective, if we head to these settings, as mentioned, it will be located between languages and family safety, which will be optional features, which will, which will let you almost uninstall the so-called unnecessary features from the browser. And that's in regards to the um, poll that we ran last week where 79% of you do feel that the browser is becoming too cluttered. So this might be, as mentioned, a nice move in the right direction to so-called decluttering edge in the future. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.